Hello friends, my name is Masu. Today we shall discuss about topic identity verification and authentication. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting, especially if you have interest in software applications and um, authentications, and you want to learn about it. So let's start, friend. Basically, friend, uh, we have seen that whenever we have to log in into uh, software applications, we have to provide different identification. For example. Uh, we have to provide login ID and password uh, so that we can be authorized, we can be authenticated. So basically, friend, uh, with respect to different systems, not only software applications, hardware applications as well. So they all need some sort of identity. Identity means that the person who wants to log in, he is the actual that person, what he is basically claiming actually. So basically all these things are basically verification so that any unauthorized ex uh, access should be avoided. So basically identity verification and authentication are crucial components of security systems designed to ensure that individuals or entities accessing a system uh, whether it is a software application or hardware based system service or information are who they claim to be. These processes play a crucial role in safeguarding sensitive data, preventive uh, unauthorized access, and maintaining the integrity of various online and offline systems. First, we will talk about identity verification. Uh, identity verification is the process of confirming the identity of an individual or entity based on provided information. This can involve verifying personal details such as name, address, date of birth and other identity files. Several methods are used for identity verifications which include document based verification. Normally uh, this involves checking official documents such as passports, driving license or ID cards to verify the information provided by the individual. For example, if you are opening an account so generally these sorts of things or documents are, are asked to provide from the uh, requester. Then biometric verification means the biometric data such as fingerprints, facial recognition, voice patterns or iris scans can be used to confirm identity. Biometrics are difficult to forge and offer a high level of accuracy. Due to that reason, uh, biometric verifications nowadays <coughs> very common. Uh, I am sure that you have seen this thing that whenever you are entering into an office, uh, you are an employee. So definitely there are like fingerprint scanners are there, facial scanners are there. So uh, these scanners are there just to record your attendance or time in or time out. Then a knowledge based uh, verification means this involves asking the individual to provide a specific piece of information that only the legitimate user should know such as password pin or answers to security questions uh, like for example if you are there on an ATM to just to withdraw the cash so uh, you have to enter a pin along with a card or you want to enter you want to log in into the online application of a bank for example so you have to enter login ID and password so organizations often imply a combination of these methods to enhance the accuracy and reliability of identity verification then authentication authentication is the process of confirming that the verified identity has the right to access a particular system application or resource authentication mechanisms ensure that only authorized users can gain access common authentication factors include knowledge factor something the user knows such as password pin or passphrase possession factor something the user has like a physical token smart card or mobile device like same uh, like you want to for example perform a transaction through a pause so you have to provide your card debit card or credit card through which you can pro perform a transaction biometric factor something unique to the user such as fingerprint facial factors or voice patterns generally factors uh, biometric nowadays very common and very 
authenticated as well because obviously fingerprints and uh, facial features are very uh, unique uh, completely unique and uh, it's very very difficult to uh, breach that factor so friend multi-factor authentication combines two or more of these factors to provide an additional layer of security for example a system might require a password knowledge factor along with a fingerprint scan biometric factor to grant access uh, friend multi-factor authentication means that two layer of factors multiple more than one factor for example generally we use login and id and password for authentication so this is one layer along with that we uh, we also include like one time password or otp like it will be sent on your mobile number or an email and then you have to enter that uh, otp on the uh, login screen so due to that reason this is called as multi-factor authentication that means more than one layer of authentication uh, there are uh, some challenges and considerations as uh, as well for example security versus user experience means striking a balance between robust security and a user-friendly experience is essential implementing overly complex authentication process may data users while weak security measures can lead to vulnerabilities okay so this is a very important factor the combination or uh, uh, the comparison between security and the user experience then uh, biometric data privacy when utilizing biometric authentication ensuring the privacy and security storage of biometric data is crucial to prevent misuse or unauthorized access basically friend obviously fingerprint scan or facial scan all these things are very uh, obviously private things so uh, this is very important that the data should be completely secured and now should not be misused then uh, regulatory compliance means many industries and regions have a specific regulations regarding identity verification and authentication to protect sensitive information organizations need to comply with these regulations to avoid uh, legal consequences as well like there every country has their own uh, regulatory authority which may ensure the compliance of all those factors then emerging technologies means blockchain uh, like utilizing blockchain technology for identity management can enhance security and control over personal data then behavioral biometrics means analyzing user behavior patterns such as typing speed mouse movement navigation habits can provide an additional layer of authentication as well so friend identity verification and authentication are integral to establishing trust in digital interactions protecting sensitive information and mitigating the risk of unauthorized access uh, organization need to adopt a comprehensive and adaptive approach to these processes.